Hello, hello, hello. Hi everyone. Hopefully you can see me and hear me and everything. We'll play some Bone Wars. Briefly. Well, not briefly. It's probably going to take a little while. It's a whole game. But I mean, shortly is the word that I'm in. As soon as I can make sure that you can hear me and that. Hey Monica, you're a hobby paleontologist yourself. Well, it should be perfect then. Hey Wim, designer of Bone Wars is in the chat. And everyone, if you've got any questions or comments, there better be a Brachiosaurus in the game. Is there a Brachiosaurus? Hey Arthur, how's it going? There's definitely a Stegosaurus. So in this, before we get started, we have a chance to see the stream started and uh, it's all coming through. Oh yeah, why am I looking through when the designer of the game can answer it uh, better? Oh, I was going to show you the Stegosaurus though. So there is a thing with... Um, so Bone Wars is a Euro game set in the 1800s. Two American paleontologists uh, basically went to paleontological war with each other. It's the Bone Wars and decided to start sabotaging each other, you know, race to try and discover as many dinosaurs as possible, steal bones off each other, steal staff, discredit each other wherever possible and uh, kind of disgrace themselves in the process and financially ruin themselves. But since it's set at the time, there's definitely multiple Stegosauruses, Stegosauri, Stegosauri in the deck. I've just found one there. So the art on the dinosaurs is based on what they thought the dinosaurs looked like at the time. So you know, we've thought uh, quite different things about them since, even since Jurassic Park. You dare contradict that? Apparently so. Uh, but yeah, things that you might recognise, uh, it's quite iconic, like the Stegosaurus, they thought looked fairly different. And there's another, Wim, you could probably tell us which one, there's another species in here where they actually put the head on the end of the tail rather than the neck of it. But anyway, the point I'm making is that the artwork is based on what they thought the dinosaurs looked like because we're in their world. Elasmosaurus. They might come out. I haven't got those to start with. But uh, we are playing a full game of this. We're playing a solo game. So everything that I am doing will be the same as if you're playing multiplayer. And there are a few changes to the board, a few restrictions tightening things up if there are fewer players. So you'll notice certain things get... Um, you see markers on here that are reducing the number of points you'll get for some things. Reducing the number of spaces we can put camps down uh, for fewer player counts. The bot is going to do some moves, get in the way, but they are also competing. So there's a little kind of... not so much a flowchart, we can see on one of their cards. If we have a peek to their bottom card, I'm not going to remember this, uh, but they've basically got a little a little track. They'll try and do this thing. Can they not do this thing? They'll try this thing and they'll uh, snake around like that till they get to do something or they've spent all of their action points. We'll see how it, how it all goes. So Bone Wars right now is on GameFound and I mean right now. It launched when this stream started there is a link in the description for you to go over to the page and see all the final stuff. This is a prototype, but it should give you a very good idea of what the final thing will look like. And uh, I've also got an overview. If you would just like uh, the, you know, the the bullet points of what the game's about and how it plays, there is an overview video as well that I think is also linked in the description. That's just gone up too. But here we're going to play a game. Hey, Matt, how's it going? Oh, yeah, thank you. There are ways to support the channel if you'd like to as well. Matt's just put them in the chat. Right. So, so let's go. I, I need to do one thing, actually. I just put us on our starting locations. But I haven't given us a couple of cards and things that we need. So there's a few things that we got during setup. And I need to just give myself a couple of dollars. A paleontologist card. I need to give myself an upgrade. So for this, we can have a look at my player area. I'm not going first. We'll have to just wait for me. But you can see my player area here. I have these cards. I have team cards. This is where I'm going to send my team out to the world. Well, to America uh, on digs and stuff. We're going to be looking for new species. We're going to be looking for bones to assemble into those species. So those are the cards that I can send my team out to do things with. They cost a various amount of money. They give me various amount of action points and they determine how deep we can dig in those various places. 
We've got paleontologist cards, which are going to be used to send my paleontologist to action spots and uh, publish these theories, debunk other theories, claim awards, or publish a minor find. One of the aims is to get dinosaurs into our archives here. We can get benefits for that. Uh, awards, goals uh, will reward us for doing that. And you can do that by publishing papers or doing minor finds. And the paleontologist cards themselves, if you do the action that those cards particularly want you to, you can get a bonus for doing that action. And they've got the icon for it here. So if uh, I used the paleontologist card for Othniel C. Marsh, who is one of the being patrons of the game, uh, then I would get an extra benefit. I could, you have to have particular bones to publish theories. Uh, I would be able to substitute one of the bones for just something else, making it a bit easier for me to get better rewards. So team cards to do team actions, paleontologist cards to do paleontologist actions, and these species cards. You need these species to do those minor finds, to publish papers with, but also they can be used as action cards when I do actions, I have to, you, know, you have to fill in your slots from left to right, and you can see the slots get progressively more expensive. You can perform actions with these species cards, and you can do either type of action with the species card, but you're a bit more restricted, so you know it's not got any team stats on it. It has printed on here, though, so you actually use the values on the board rather than on the card itself, and the species cards have this minor find symbol on them. They have uh, five different kinds of symbols. They determine all sorts of things, but if you play a species card for your action and it matches the minor find symbol here, you get the bonus that's on the cards. All sorts of different bonuses. This one here would let me remove one of my cover tiles and let me keep more fossils around. And when you do that, you can get a bit of money or a point as well. So I've got all of this stuff. This is what every player would start with. But because of the bonus I have chosen at the start of the game, I get to upgrade something. And I think, yeah, let's do this. So these are the starting cards. I have three upgraded versions of the cards that will make things cheaper or give me more actions or let me dig to different depths. I am going to... Yeah, I'm going to upgrade this card. So instead of costing three to give me three action points, it only costs me one, and I can dig a bit deeper than I would otherwise. When you get an upgrade, as I have at the start of the game, you can choose to upgrade your cards, or we've also got these specialists that maybe we'll get to later. See, some of the cards have got these torn out pages on them. Uh, if you've got a specialist unlocked, you can play the card with the specialist on, and it'll suddenly do an extra thing, like let you draw a paleontologist card, or give you uh, the end round bonus, or, well, not the end round, the current round's bonus, or let me move things around in my archives and stuff. So that's all to come for me, and I've got a couple of bones and things in my... Um, in my, not in my archives, in my possession at the moment. But what we can do is, and we're going to have to move this slightly. We don't need to see his archive too much right now. Uh, we need to see where he's put in cards. See, in the recorded playthrough, I wasn't in the way. Uh, so, he has a solo deck like this. These are the backs of the cards. And we need to draw a card for the bot. I perhaps foolishly, have let him go first, because he'll always choose the, the highest spot in the player order if he can. And that's why he's got himself an extra dollar and an upgraded action slot. Instead of this costing him three, it's only going to cost him one to take an action there. And you can use action slots to increase the number of cards you could play for a round as well. But he does them in a particular order. He upgrades this slot, then if he gets another one of these, he'll put a new slot down, then he'll upgrade this one, then he'll put another new one down, and it'll alternate like that. Uh, so we draw a card from the bot's deck, and it's going to have that snaking path of choices on it. And it's got two sides, purple and green, and they represent paleontologist and teams. And you can see they correspond to the backs of these cards as well. So the back of the next card tells us what side of this we need to go down. It's green, so it tells us he's going to try and do an action with his team. And then it tells us, has he got a species card that matches the minor find symbol on his player board for the slot that he's playing in? So for that, we'd need the footprint. He actually has. And he always starts with kind of the best choice, the thing that would please uh, the awards in the middle of the board. If we have a look at these um, awards that he can place on. 
there are three in each game. There's an A stack, a B stack, and a C stack, and you just randomly draw from one each. So these awards here will reward you with loyalty in your current patron. Uh, if you can get a load of species that were discovered by one of the patrons and so that's why he went for his choice here it's also a bit of a wild card here there are certain types that you want to have you know like the uh, lizards and birds and things like that uh, this is an amphibian and so can kind of count as a wild card for the species that you need but i think he's actually gonna hey james how's it going uh, he's actually going to get rid of this card now because if it matches at this point, he is going to get rid of the card for its bonus. So it's not actually going to be used as a discovery. He's going to get plenty more though, I'm sure. And instead, it's going to get used for its bonus in the corner here, which as you've seen on, mine's got the same bonus actually. Uh, it's going to be used to remove one of his cover tiles. And when you do that, you can either have $2 or the point. If he has less than $5, he takes the money. He's got uh, his starting five plus another one, so he's not going to take the money. He's going to take the one point instead. And that puts him on the board. It's further than I've gone. So because he did that with the species card, he is going to get the number of action points and the dig depth, as it says on his player board. So similar to what I would do if I was doing that. Uh, if he hadn't have had a matching species card, he would have instead got three action points and he could have gone to dig depth one. So we know he's doing something with his team and he's got one action point to do it with. That's where this flowchart comes in because we look and see, can he get a bone tile? He actually can't do anything right now because as we all start in our universities here, these are our team tokens. We have me, we have Theodore, the bot player, and we have a neutral marker that just blocks things off a little bit. So at the moment, the only thing that he can do is move. So we need to basically say he can't get bone token he can't do this he can't do this uh, he needs to move and it tells us which direction he's going to move in he's going to move in a clockwise direction now everybody has one built-in movement so this doesn't cost him an action point there are various things that do cost action points that you do with your teams theodore does get a discount on some of those so he's basically going to move in a clockwise direction first of all so we get his uh, team token and he's going to move to nebraska and then the flowchart loops around again. So can he get a bone token? He can. He has got an action point for this. And it costs one action point to get a bone token. Which one does he take? He takes the lowest one that he's allowed to take out of his uh, dig depth. So we know he can only go to the top one here. That's his dig depth allowance. Uh, so he's going to get himself a bone token. It'll just be the top one. Hey, I was uh, kind of thinking about getting that one, but it's gone now. So there are various types of bones. There are skulls, and there are skulls for the herbivores and carnivores. Uh, there are torsos and tails that are generic, and then there are arms, like uh, there are flippers and um, the, the feet and the paws and stuff. They are more specific. The, the torsos and tails are can be applied to any dinosaur basically so he's taken one of these away that's going to help him do other things in the future and so because he played the species card and got the bonus he only gets the one action point and he has spent that getting the bone token so that's his turn he played a species card got a bonus out of it and then he took a bone tile so now it comes to me and we're going to try spending some of uh, these cards that we have started with so i think and nothing refreshes in the places, by the way. They refresh when you spend an action to do it or when the round ends, the states get refilled. I want to do something with my team as well. And I would like to get some camps out early on. So I think I would like some good action points. So I'm going to play this. So it costs me zero. Same for the bot. It would have cost him to go in an action slot. It gets me zero plus what doesn't get me. It costs me zero plus one. So it costs me one of my starting seven to put that card there. And it's going to give me three action points. And I could, if I want bone tokens, I could take them from the top or middle slots. So out on the board, out in the States here, you see, I'm starting in my university. So I need to move out of here. But as we've seen on everyone's playboard, you've got a movement built in. 
And something I would like to do early on is get some campsites out because you can see that they can unlock more movement and your movement can be done in between action points before them, after them. And these ones up top here unlock archive slots. This is our archive up here. When we take actions that put species cards in our archive slots, we get bonuses, but we are limited by the number of cards that can be in each of these envelopes, they're called. You can have one card per envelope at the start of the game. So what this tells us, as we unlock, you could have up to three. And the bonus is kind of combined. So this one here would get me like uh, would, would get me points. Reputation points is this uh, symbol. My first one going in there would get me one. Second one going in there would get me two. And it would build up like that and get you uh, more and more tiles or species cards and things like that. So, yeah, I would like to get these camps out. My, I'm going to have to move out, but I do get free movement for that. And I want to think about where I want to go. Let's see, my free move. I can either move here or here, because this is the university I started at. And it's who my patron is as well. You see, I've got uh, Marsh's symbol over here, whereas uh, Cope is Theodore's patron at the moment. We are going to be publishing papers on behalf of our patrons or debunking the papers of our patron's rival and building up books on these bookshelves and building up loyalty towards these men and twice throughout the game after the second round and after the fourth and final round we are going to score these bookcases and uh, hope that we have made the right choice our allegiances can switch this isn't set in stone there are actions that you can do there are choices that you make at the end of every round that can flip your allegiance over and so you need to decide who you're publishing for uh, when the right time to flip over might be all of that good stuff. I am just uh, using my free movement here to go to New Jersey. And I think I would like to put a camp out. So the things that I can do with my team that cost action points, I can get a bone token, just like uh, Theodore did. They cost an action point. I can grab the species card that there. That costs me two action points. I can put down, I can get the, the bonus, the dig site bonus. That's one action point, but this is another advantage of getting camps. You can take the bonus of the place you are at or any place where you have put down a camp. So you don't have to be there in the future. You can spend an action point to refresh the card and tiles that are there. You can spend an action point to move if you've got no free movement left, or you can spend an action point to put one of those camps out. And that's what I want to do. Because as you can see, all of these neutral markers that are out, the space is quite tight to put these down. I would like to unlock movement. I would like to unlock putting things in envelopes. And wait a minute, that's uh, that's going over my template, isn't it? It's hiding me. Uh, I would like all of that stuff. And I would like to try and block the bot off if they're going to be putting camps down as well. So I have my one free movement. But based on the choice that you make at the start, you can get one of these bonuses as well, based on the university that you're in and the space that you chose. I have chosen two extra movements as well. So I am going to pop my camp down here. And this means in the future, wherever my team is, I could spend an action point to get myself a tile from the bag, a bone tile from the bag, even if I'm not on Haddonfield in the future. So that's my first one. And I've unlocked a movement, but I don't get to use that just yet. But I've got this two extra free movements. So with my three action points, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here. Now, I do want a skull for my dinosaur bones. It's the only thing kind of giving me pause at the moment. There's a skull here. There's a skull here, but it's right at the bottom. And there is a skull over here as well. Maybe I'll loop back around later on. Yeah, let's put camps out right now. So I'm not getting anything instantly, but I'm hopefully building up something nice. I would like a lot of movements. I think I'm just going to put three camps out with my points. because I've got three movements and three action points. There's another one. And block the bot off kind of where he is and where he might move to a space. Third movement, I'm going to go here and I'm going to put one of my envelope camps out and see how that goes. So it's cost me a little bit of money. I have not gained any bones or species cards or any research towards dinosaurs, but we've got uh, base camps out and we can be hoovering up bonuses in the future. This one here is you can swap one of your bone tiles for one of the rare bones tiles. In the top of the board there, we've got two of each bone type right up there in the corner. And you can basically pick what you want from there if you haven't quite got the right one. 
And this one down here is bring your paleontologist off the board. Whenever you do things with your paleontologist, they have to go to a new action space. So you can't repeat the same action usually, unless you've got a bonus like that. Okay then, so that is all of my turn. And we can go back to the bot and I'm gonna have to turn this fan on. The noise cancelling should stop it. I've been thinking uh, this afternoon, oh, it's, uh, it's a little bit cooler in here. That's before all the lights and everything went on. So it's bot time. Move the deck along again. I'm right in the way of where the deck would be. This is where I need to have this uh, screen in front of me. Okay, so Theodore, this time, we see again the bot. Oh, you can see the next one. Spoilers. Uh, he's going to do a teams action again. So has he got a species card that matches this um, minor fine symbol? No, he hasn't got a species card. So he is going to do this. He is going to get one action point, but he can have something from any dig depth. And starting from his um, first priority here, can he get a bone tile? Looking at where he is. Yes, he can. He'll take the lowest one down. Put it in his crate. And he is perfectly happy with that. And that's his action. Hasn't had to pay anything yet, but he will have to in the future. Theodore will keep taking actions until either all of his action slots are full, and we've seen how you can get more action slots in the future if you get the right kind of upgrades. He'll keep going until his slots are all full, or he can't afford to place anything. So you see with six money, he can definitely afford to place in all of his slots, but he might not have that much money in the future, depending on the choices that he takes. Okay, we've got some campsites out now. Do I want to put the last one out? I would like some bones, really. Because you see the, the species card that I've got here from the start of the game. Ornithomius. To discover this species, which is something I would like to do, all I need is two fossil tiles, which I have got because the tails and torsos are generic. Any kind of dinosaur can have them. If you want to use a skull or a, I forgot the gen, a limb, then you need these specific ones. This one here, the, the skull on this dinosaur is actually a bit more generous because it could be either type. So a little bit easier to do than uh, some of the others. So I could just go and publish this now. You need two different bone tiles to go and publish. But if I could get all four different types, I could get myself uh, quite a nice bonus. That is something I'm hoping to do. So, I would like more action points. I really wish the upgrade that I'd done now would have been to get the four action points. And I wish I'd uh, pick that one instead, but it's okay. We can still get stuff. So this lets me dig from the, the top two depths. Maybe we just publish with three things. I'm going to dig with my team again. So it's going to cost me two money this time. Zero for the slot, two on the card. So I've still got a bit spare. But yeah, I don't know that I'm going to get to pay all of my things. Then I've got two action points for my teams. Am I going to put the final camp out right away? Or are we just going to spend these two getting, or do I need a torso and a skull? We've got the movement to go and do it. It's so looking out here. There's a torso right here. We can do up to the second dig depth. I could get this. I could go back to Haddonfield. I could go up to here to get another skull. So I could get the four different types of things right now. But I would like this camp out. We could do another dig action in the nearish future. Just I don't see particularly how we're going to get a load of money to do like the full gamut of actions. Hey, Michael. Hey, JB. Hey, Skip. How's it going? Sorry, I'm deep in my thoughts. I'd like to... I would like the rounds bonus. This rounds bonus is um, get three tiles out of the bag. That could be quite nice for, you know, spurring you onto the next thing. Because, like, I could just spend these two action points picking up a species card. Oh, wow, that could be any limb over there.
yeah, let's go get the tiles. So I don't have to move here. I can take something from Dig Depth 2. That's one of my action points. And I'm going to move. I've got three, five free movements. So I can move to a lot of bits. Uh, and I'm going to grab this skull. And then maybe we'll publish a paper. Afterwards, show you how that works. Okay, the bot is going to be... Oh, doing a paleontologist action. Okay, so now we move to the purple uh, arrows. So first of all, it wants to claim an award. Can it claim an award? Well, the bot will only do that if it can claim at least the middle level of any of the awards. Now, this marker here is just reducing the number of loyalty that that level is worth in a, a game with fewer than four players. So for this, you basically need stuff in your archives. So I can tell you right now, no. With no dinosaurs in his archives, he's not doing this. But he wants to at least get the middle level. So he would want at least two um, dinosaurs discovered by Cope, uh, at least one bird and one reptile in his archives, or at least two dinosaurs in his e-archive, his e-envelope. He hasn't done any of that yet. So we can safely say he is not going to choose that option. Next, can he get a minor find? For that, you need a species card. So no, he is not. Can he uh, publish? Can he discover a new species? No, he hasn't got a species card. He cannot do that. So what if he can't do any of the bits on his uh, paleontology section? He will go down into the team section and do some more team stuff. So can he get a bone token? And he uses these values. He's got two action points. And he can dig in the first two depths. So we can see, yes, he can get a bone token. He has cleared out Nebraska. Can he put a camp down? Well, no, he cannot, because there is no space in Nebraska anymore. Next is a bone tile again, but he's cleared it out. He's still got an action point. And the next point on his card tells us that he is going to move anti-clockwise. So anti-clockwise is going to put him in New Jersey. Next, can he take a bone token? Yes, he can. Uh, he can take it from the top two depths. So he would take the middle one and it goes in here. So he's kind of full up, but the bot's got some special rules. If he does want to take another uh, bone tile, then he gets to discard this for free, but he doesn't get the reward. You know, he could choose from some money or some points. He needs to pay a money as well for using that uh, slot. But that's what he's done. He's got uh, a couple more bone tiles here, but he's not managed to put a camp down just yet. Okay, I am tempted to send me teams out again and put a camp out and uh, see if I can stop him from getting one down. And it would be a camp on a space that you would get money from. I also want to publish. Well, actually, I could have um, just got any bone tiles to publish with. I didn't even need the specific ones. So what would I have? I've got four money. So I can basically do this action and the next action, unless I earn money from doing the thing. And I could just publish a minor find instead of actually discovering the species card. With one action point, I can't get another species card, though. I could do it with this one and just get another species later. But no, I am going to let's spend the money. We'll see if this works out or if I'm just sabotaging for no reason as well might be the case. I put all my camps out. That's my action point. I'm satisfied, even if uh, that's the wrong decision. Okay. Theodore is going to do some more team stuff. He's loving his team's action. It's going to cost him two money. And what is he going to do? He's got no species cards, so we know he is getting three action points and he can have things from any depth. His first choice, can he get a species card? Well, nobody's taken one yet, so yes, he can. And for Theodore, these only cost him one action point. So he is going to get the Nimrorus, Nimravus species card there. Next... He wants to move clockwise. Well, he can do that. He's only spent one action point so far. That was his free movement. Can he take a bone tile? No. Can he move clockwise? That's an action point. He's had his free movement. So he's got one more action left. Uh, and it's species card again. He can take that species card. So he's got a couple of those to work with. That's probably uh, going to stand him in good stead. Probably want to zoom out with his... Um... Should we just zoom out on his board a little bit? It will have to move a little. 
He's just got a lot of things we need to see, hasn't he, really? Has that shrunk it whatsoever? Or are you just moving it? Turn that hand into some arrows and shrink it, please. Okay, maybe we won't shrink it. Maybe the streaming software reckons it knows better. He's got two species cards anyway that he can uh, get some stuff done with. I'll leave him there. Right. That's his action done then, isn't it? He spent his three action points. I think that's pretty good. He's got a lot of bones. He's got a lot of species now. Probably more than I can really say. I am now going to play a paleontologist card. I don't really need this particular paleontologist because his bonus is he lets me have a different bone than I particularly needed. There are other ones that can get you bonuses, some extra like loyalty and stuff. I didn't have that card. It's going to cost me two to do this. And it lets me put my paleontologist out on an action. Has to be a different action, but I haven't done one with him yet, so he can go anywhere. It's going to be publish a paper. You can see this infinity sign for publish a paper and for debunking. You can do these as many times as you want, as many times as you've got action points. Well, as many times as you've got bones for, rather than action points. And species cards if you're publishing. So what I need is a species card that I have discovered. And I need at least two different bone tiles. I'm going for all four. I'm going big on this. But, you know, I could have picked up a species card instead. And with four bones, I could have discovered them both in one go. In many ways, you can do this. So, you know, you might just want to unlock all of these slots, get tons of bone tokens, just publish loads of little ones at once. We'll see how this works out for me. So I've got four different ones here. And remember, if you're using the jaw, the limb and the skull, they've got to be the specific ones the card says. So I am discovering a species with four different bone tiles. And so this tells me the rewards that I get from this. I'm going to get two loyalty. Your loyalty, unless something modifies it, your loyalty is going to your current patron, who is Marsh. So I am going to get to two spaces on the loyalty track. I then get the bonus, it tells here, this, uh, this ribbon here, I get the bonus from the species card that I'm using. And that bonus is remove one of your cover tiles. And when you do this, you can either have two money or a point. Well, two money would actually let me do an extra action. I don't know if I would have an action to do, but I think having the money in the future will be nice. So I think I'm going to take two money. And then this tells us we get the rounds bonus, which is get three bone tiles from the bag. And they are going to be torso tail. So there, there we go. There's a dinosaur straight away. If I can get myself a species card and a carnivore skull. So hopefully help me towards the next discovery I make or won't help me towards debunking. You want tiles of the same type to be debunking, but we'll we'll probably see some of that later. Okay, we've done those things. Those are the rewards that you get from this. You can see I've got more loyalty. And I've got the end game bonus, the, the, the rounds bonus, rather than if I'd only spent three tiles, I wouldn't get that. If I'd only spent two tiles, I would just get the one loyalty and nothing else. But you wouldn't have had to spend so much time getting tokens. Then I need to put the dinosaur in my archive. The bone tiles go back to the bag. It goes into the archive in the slot that the minor find symbol says. So we've got the hammer there. It goes in here. Oh, and this gets me money as well. I don't know what I'm actually going to do with this action. I can do a paleontology section, but I don't think I actually want to because I haven't got the old species card. So I've got myself a good amount of money. When I'm picking the profession, the you know the bonus for next round, I probably am not bothered about earning a ton of money. Well, the money's always nice, isn't it? You get it the number of times as there are species in that envelope currently. So there is one, I get two times one money. That goes in there. And then I can put a book out on the shelves. It is going to be a four because I just spent four bone tiles to do this. And it goes in Marsh's side of the bookcase. And I'll tell you now that at the end of the second and fourth round, we're going to have scorings on this bookcase. And you score the number of bookshelves that that person has that have a book on them. So currently, these neutral ones don't count. They are just blocking off spaces for a game with fewer players. 
So currently, they've both got one bookshelf multiplied by your multiplier, which uh, I have got one times multiplier on uh, Marsh now. So I would get one point here, zero points here. Both scorings, you score both patrons, no matter which one you've got the, the patronage of right now. You score both of them in each scoring. So that's why you might not want to always keep to one. You might want to switch your allegiances. Because if, so for debunking, you can only debunk the papers of your patron's rival. So I've done that now. We've got a book out on the shelves. We are on the board. And that is uh, all of my stuff for that turn. Theodore is going to be doing a patron action, maybe. Can he do an award? No. He has still not got any dinosaurs into his archive. Can he publish a minor find? Yes, he can, because he has now got a couple of species cards to do this with. Just make sure I've got all of his minor finds things. So he chooses a dinosaur species card that is available to him. There we go, he's got two. A species card that is needed for an award in order A, B, C. Award number one, award A, tells us that... Theodore would like to have a load of species discovered by Cope in his archives. So that would be this one. See on top, they've got different colours and they've got a little symbol based on who they were discovered by. There we go, that's his choice made. He's going to grab this and it has the, the leaf fossil in its minor find section. We look at the first one from left to right that we find. That's what we get. And this is how it would work if I was doing the minor find as well. He gets this bonus down here, so he's going to get three money for that. He's probably going to have a decent amount of cash to do actions next round with as well. And then this goes into his archives, and he gets the bonus as normal. So the leaf goes up here, and he's going to get himself a paleontologist card. I'm not going to take them one if it's too much of a reach. And he can't, can't quite see how much he's uh, got in there. But he hasn't unlocked any camps yet. He can only have one in each uh, archive bit. Right, so that minor find tile goes away. And so in the future, if you try and do a minor find with the leaf fossil, you can only choose this bonus, remove a cover card. And then once that's been done, no one can do a minor find with that particular symbol again. There's only one per player in the, the area there. Now, he also gets a Paleontologist card. When he gains those, he just gets them off the top of the deck. So they go here. And, you know, we can play them for bonuses on the actions that we're doing. Theodore doesn't care about the actual bonuses they give. If he performs a Paleontologist action that he's got a card for, which he hasn't at the moment, this is debunking... Oh, no, that's a minor find. He has. So he is doing it. Uh, if he has got a Paleontologist card for the action that he is taking, he discards it and he gets a loyalty for it. So his loyalty is with um, Cope, so he goes up one on there, discards the Paleontologist card, and I think we're caught up right there. Are there different difficulties for the AI? There are. So there are advanced cards. Whenever, so you, you saw how I got upgrades, that I get improvements to my cards, so does Theodore. Whenever he gets that bonus, he has an upgraded deck, we remove the top card of his current deck out of the game. It's his top unupgraded card. And we put an upgraded card there instead. And he goes through this deck and then shuffles it up. So they're going to keep coming back. And uh, they are more powerful. Let him do things multiple times. There is also an expert deck. So if you want to increase the difficulty of the AI, a way of doing it is to use the expert cards instead. You don't use the advanced ones at all. His upgrades take him straight to the expert level where he gets to do more and more stuff. So he's done that action. I have money now. I don't have a team card, so I can't do anything with my team, which is what I would like to do. I have a paleontologist card, so I could do something different. I can't debunk because he's not published a paper. I can't do an award. Mm, could you do an award? Yeah, I could get this award here for zero loyalty. Now the reason, so why would you publish the award if you get zero loyalty? Because claiming an award also gives you the rounds bonus. So I could get myself three more bones tokens here, but you can only be on each award tile once. So I'm kind of locking myself out from the potential two or four loyalty I could get later on. And nothing in envelope E. I can't do a minor find because I haven't got a species card. I don't think I'm going to do anything. I am going to pass instead. 
Let me make sure I've got all of my passing options available to me. So first of all, you need to choose a profession. You move your profession meeple to a new row and column. If we look, I think this no, no, it doesn't cut off any of them. So I can't choose an upgrade $2 and a Pale Intelligence. They've all got a Pale Intelligence card. This one here's got two. So I can't choose that again. I could choose an upgraded slot, one money and a Pale Intelligence card. I do have a bit of cash. And the upgraded slot works you know, in the same way as the, the bot has theirs. I could either cover up one of my existing slots, changing its you know, stats, the number of action points it might get me, you know, it reduces the number of action points you can do here, but instead of costing three, it only costs one. Or you could make an early one cost more, but it does more. Or I could give myself an extra action slot and I could play more cards in one round if I can get myself these paleontologist cards, because your team cards stick with you. Paleontologist ones and species cards that you played down here are gone. So we could do that. I, I would like to be first player and get first dibs on things. It's always nice, isn't it? Removing a cover tile, I'm not so excited about. I would like a species card, really, to get started. It does put me way down in the pecking order, but there's only two of us, so it doesn't really matter. He's always going to choose the best thing. So he is going to choose the upgrade, basically. I can't stop that because it's the row I was in. I can't choose that again. So we've got to choose something different. I don't just want one bone tile. It would set us up with money for quite a while. Maybe two paleontologist cards would help. Let's go for the species card. Let's do it. So we get a species card and three money. So I've got quite a bit of this now. And a paleontologist card. So when I get a paleontologist card, I haven't got an easy button for this. I can choose from the display. Oh, we've got a Stegosaurus. Uh, so, we could have Marsh again. So I can discover without, like, the particular... the Particularly the right tiles. Or I could... Oh, yeah, that's... that's um, When you're doing a minor find, you can choose the bonus of any of the... You can take any of the minor find tiles and get that bonus instead. Instead of having to have the one that's on your card. So that's a way of getting around it. And you can have, uh, when you claim an award, you can put your token on an occupied space. You can still only have one of your award tokens per tile. But, you know, if uh, the bot was to claim the best one, I could still have it if I used uh, this card. Am I going to do a minor find? I don't know that I particularly am. I've already got a card that helps me with minor finds as well. Uh, we saw everything that the bot did with it. This would let me put it into an envelope of my choice rather than the particular one that it wants me to do. I think this, this might help me out. Publishing a find with a different tile. I'm going to go for that again over the other two. Which I'll say when you're debunking and you gain loyalty for it, uh, you can split that loyalty between the two. And so it could be both of them. It could just be one of them. It's up to you. So I've had my money. I've had the paleontology card. I've had the species card. Then we need to return my team. My team comes back from their digs in South Dakota. And I decide where they're going. So this is a big choice. Do I want to now flip my allegiance. Start in this university. And have a different power. So I could have. Uh, when you draw bone tiles from the bag. You draw an extra one. And discard one. I could have, when you are researching a species with all four tiles, instead of getting the current rounds bonus, you could choose any rounds bonus. Two extra movement we've seen. Uh, this is when you're doing the paleontology, you don't have to go to a different space. But that is blocked off by the neutral player for this time. So I could just stay and get the extra movement. I have got three built-in movements. But I think for now, let, let's keep our loyalty to Marsh. So that doesn't need to move. I'm just going in here. And when... Oh, before I return my team, the neutral player moves to the next number along. So they go from three to four. So I could go there if I wanted to. If I wanted to repeat the same thing my paleontologist is on. Do I want that more than the movement? I have got three movement built in. No, I'm going to keep the movement. I'm going to keep the movement. 
we just have to do something different with our person. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So we've done that, we claim the grant, and then you get the loyalty bonus. So if I changed my thing, I would uh, have to flip my patron on my player board. I haven't had to do that. And we see on my patron's board, if I am below these symbols, I get those bonuses. So I get myself a loyalty and a dollar. But I've passed and I am uh, out of it. Even though he's the first player though, he took a extra turn than me. So he is going to pass now because his um, slots are all filled up. And let's make sure I'm doing all of his uh, passing bits right. So he always chooses, as you've seen, the highest profession available to him. So he is going to get an upgrade. We get rid of this card from the game and take the top shuffled upgrade card and put that there instead. So he is going to get to do something nice. Then he also gets a species card. I forget the species card. His team goes back to the university with the most published papers first. So he is going to come over to my university and he does get these bonuses too, like these um, grants. So his patron needs to flip and then we discard all of the solo played action cards. If the deck runs out, shuffle the pile and form a new deck. So there we go. That's all of that done. And we need to do the cleanup and reset the board. So all of the remaining bone tokens move upward and we end up with some gaps that we fill in. All of the species cards get removed and replaced with new ones. Let me just do that for I just uh, skip through all of the steps here. Oh, that needs removing as well. Okay. And then we want new bones. Dinner time. Dinner a bit late today. That's okay. Making good time, I think. I'm not going to rush through the game. Right. So we've done those, we've done those. Then we get our cards back for teams, but the paleontologist card that I used is gone. But luckily I have gained myself uh, another one in the meantime. Okay, so that's them there. And then we move the round marker to next round. So the bonus for the round is now going to be an upgrade. So I would very much like that. Player order changes based on the new order. It's still going to be Theodore first. So I think, yeah, we, we go straight into it. So what's Theodore up to? This is his upgraded card. So on the back, it's got this symbol. So in the future, when this is the back of one of the cards, he gets to retrieve his paleontologist before he does his action. That's not going to happen because he's. Um, this is the, the main one. So is he doing paleontologist or teams? So we can see on the upgraded card. On the paleontologist side, he does two things now. And on the team side, he gets an extra thing. In this case, a paleontologist card before he does any of the other stuff. So he is going to be doing paleontologist things because that's the top card of the deck. So first of all, can he claim an award? No. Same situation as when we checked last time. Can he do a minor find? He's got two species, so yes. Uh, so he has got this. It's got a different minor find symbol, so he will be able to place it in the archive, because remember, you can only have one in each archive without any camps out. But this will help him to be able to claim an award. So probably a pretty good thing to have. So over here, he's got the amber. So he'll take the leftmost amber one, and he's going to get three dig site bonuses. Now, whenever you get these dig site bonuses, they can be from any dig site, not where you are or where you have camps, can be anywhere. And uh, yeah, we'll do that in a sec. So when he gets dig site bonuses, he has got on the top card of his deck, he's got a little flowchart here of what he would prefer. I'm just make sure I'm, uh, I'm doing it right. As each option is possible and are allowed to. So he's basically going to get three. He's got three dig site bonuses. He has got space for three bones. He's going to get three bones out of the bag, I think. 
So when he has no space for bones, he gets to remove this for free, but he doesn't get the bonus that's on it. So he's basically going to do that twice. Marty, Marty is not here, unfortunately. Uh, he is up. He is lying upstairs now, so it's cooled down to that point. But uh, he's on the bed, so. Oh, flips loyalty first. Oh yeah, there's one before that. So he's going to flip his loyalty. Just the once, right? He'll flip his loyalty once and then get two bone tiles then. Yeah. Well, it did. The, the lag seems better than usual. There's usually a much bigger delay. Right, so he gets two bone tiles and he has flipped his allegiance back to cope. So he's had his two dig site things. He's had his two dig site things. The, yeah, that was the bonus for that. And he gets to put this in his archives in the amber space, which gives him another tile from the back. This is on GameFound right now, and the link for it is in the description of the video for the campaign page. It is literally, it's launched whenever this started. Cold tea drinking time. That's not that cold. Right. So yes, he did a, a, a find. So he, when he gets to do things twice with him, does he start from the top again? Or is he carrying on from the minor find? Let me just check. You're probably faster than me uh, scrolling through it. He does the loop twice. So he'll start again, won't he? Uh, so awards, he can claim an award now. So remember, he's not interested unless he can claim the middle thing or better. So he has now got two species that were discovered by Cope. You're just going to have to take my word for it. The streaming software won't zoom out. Oh, there you go. You can see him in there. Uh, two Copes. So he can claim an award, claim the award for which he would gain the most loyalty and is available to him. Otherwise, from A, no, the priority A best, then B, then C. He'll only claim an award if he can claim at least the second row. So has he got a bird and a reptile? No. He's got a bird and a... Underwater, hasn't he? Uh, so no, he can't do that. He's got nothing in E, so he can't claim that. The only one he could claim with his token here is have two copes. And he gets, as we can see on here, one loyalty for that. So that ticks him up the loyalty track another space. And that's it. He's done his two things. He got to do two things because it was um, an upgraded card. So the, the upgrade helps him in two ways. The back of the next card and the, the bottom of the current card. Oh yeah, I need to put his paleontologist out. Because he also usually has to obey the same restriction, that he has to do a different action. But we've seen the back of the upgraded cards let him take his person off. And his current grant actually lets him repeat the same action as well. Right, so he's had his turn. It's time for me to think about what I was going to do. I, I want to publish a paper. I want this end... This I don't know why I keep saying end game constantly. Oh, he needs to get a bonus too. He uh, You claim the award and you get the round's bonus. So he needs to discard the next normal card. And get an upgraded card there instead. So it would be nice for me to claim an award as well. I could do that. Well, I could just do that and get zero loyalty for it. But I could be claiming stuff by... If I could get a bird discovered, no birds have come out. I could be spending action points to deal new cards, but probably not going to do that. We could do a minor find, though, and put a species in any envelope. That would help a little bit in terms of getting things in envelope E. But I would like to get three species in envelope E and get that full four loyalty at some point. So yeah, I don't know about um, doing a minor find and claiming stuff, but getting upgrades really quickly would be nice. I have three different bones. Unfortunately, Stegosaurus wants a herbivore skull. I do have the card that lets me substitute one of the bones, don't I? So I could do that with the carnivore skull. 
I would have to pick up one more bone, but we could, in theory, you know, find a species out here that would help us in terms of their current bonus and in terms of um, the, the tiles they want to be completed. I think... Now, he does let me substitute for any tile I like, doesn't he? You can use one bone token as a bone token of any type, yes. So what I'm kind of thinking over here is... He wouldn't go into the right space. Desma. Desma Stylus over here. If I could discover him with uh, at least three different bone types, then his bonus here is he lets me move things in my archives to any envelope. That's a way I could easily get something into the E envelope. The actual type I need is the footprint up there. So another way of doing it would just be do it properly, and that would also get me an upgrade. Ooh. Okay, let's get... I want at least two action points to do this, and I need to dig... I don't need to dig deep at all. No, I need three action points. I need three action points, so it's going to have to be this card, isn't it? So played into slot one. I want more, I want more bones as well, if I can get them. Could do both species in one go. Let's let's just concentrate on one for start with, though. So one coin for this, three action points, and I can dig up to two deep. So we're going to come out. We've got more movement than we know what to do with. Don't worry about the movements. I want to come out here, and remember we need the the poor bone. So that's going to be one of my action points. Grab that. Another movement, and I'm going to claim the card itself. I would also like this card to be moving things in the archives as well, though. We'll see what we can do about all of that. Okay, so I have got that species card. That's my three action points, because for me, species cards are two action points. But I've now got, with the help of Marsh, I could go and research a find, and there are four different bones. Marsh lets me you know, treat this as a bone of any type. One of the bones can be wild, basically, thanks to his help. So I could get the rounds bonus, the bonus on here, which is three dig site bonuses, which is quite nice. I'm going to have to do something in the meantime, though, because my paleontologist is still there. So I need to do another action, but maybe that's going to be getting a minor find. Let's uh, see what Theo's up to, though, while I have a think about it. I'm not really going to think, am I? I'm going to do his action. OK, so we know that he's doing something with his teams. Has he got a species card that has got the spiral fossil on it? No, he hasn't. Uh, so he is going to be getting two action points at up to two depth. And he is going to get the rounds bonus. His upgraded card gives him that. So this actually gets replaced. But I think he still gets the two action points at two depth. So two action points. He's going to get the species card from where he is. He hasn't moved yet, though. So we need to just keep going until he gets some movement. Clockwise. That's him, isn't it? Clockwise is there. Then background is the species card. That's one of his two action points. And then can he put a camp down? No. Can he get a bone token at two depth? He can get this one. So he's got himself quite a nice complement of um, bone tokens there. And yeah, that's him done. So I could... If I went and got a minor find... I could use Powell here as my paleontologist card and put this in any envelope I like. I'm thinking of building up things in the E envelope. A bit of a downside is that gets you points rather than anything else. I would like other bonuses, but for that award, it would be quite nice to get in envelope E. I also want to research dinosaurs, of course. Which we could do by just grabbing two bone tokens, just a torso and a tail would let me do that. Which I could actually do with uh, with one of my team's cards. And then we could do them both in one go. Because you don't have to have these. Just if you're going to have head or limb. They've got to be these ones. Just have two tiles and just get the one loyalty for it. But if I had this as a minor find. It's got the leaf. And so we know from that there's only one left. It would remove a cover tile. Mm, not as in love with that.
it will be good for the future if we want to get loads of these um, things done. We could do teams and grab another species card. Oh, do you know what? Yes, I need two action points for this. Let's play this down here. So that's going to cost me two coins. And I'm going to move us right down. And I'm going to grab this species card because I've just noticed that my next one along here is the leaf, which this is. I could play this to do a paleontologist action or a team's action with two action points. And I could get its bonus, which is move things in the archive. So that could be an E. Researching that's going to be an E. And doing a minor find with that, I can put it in any slot and it would be an E. Probably want to do a team's action with this next time. I would have three things in E. I wouldn't be able to do it this round because I haven't got a thing that lets me do enough actions or enough cards at all. Uh, but next round, I could claim the four loyalty thing. Unfortunately, that is after the scoring. But we'll get loyalty for other stuff. Right. That's the plan anyway. The O is doing a paleontologist action. It's upgraded, of course. So he's doing two things. Can he claim an award? No. Can he debunk? Yes. So... For debunking, your rival has got... Oh, can he? Yes, he can. Uh, so for debunking, that's really bad, actually. You have to... have bones of the same type. You have to have identical bone tokens, two, three, or four of them. The number you need is the value of the book you want to debunk. You basically flip it to the other side. So he needs four of the same token. For Theodore, skulls are all the same and limbs are all the same. So he has got, he doesn't actually need that bonus because he's got four carnivore skulls right here. So he can debunk. He's using four of the same tiles. So he gets four loyalty for this. And he's gonna go one, two, three, four. So he's in the two times bit already. And this tile jumps over there. And suddenly he's debunked my findings and Cope has uh, got all the plaudits for it instead that has only changed the scoring by his loyalty at the moment but if cope keeps discovering things and that keeps going up that's going to be bad for me so that is a bit annoying because i was only going to discover one thing and that was going to put two things on his shelves but i could debunk now if i could get four of the same thing i haven't got any of the same thing right now i've just got four different tiles uh, so that's only his first thing so he debunked. We start again. Can he claim an award now? No, because he's in no different situation. Can he debunk? No. He. It's okay that he's already on it because he's got that decree that lets him. But now there are no books in the bookshelf that he can debunk. Uh, can he publish a find? I hope so. About time. I'm going to get debunking it. So publish a paper. Choose a species card available to him. One that's needed for an award. Well, he's already claimed award A, so I don't think we need to think about that anymore. He has already got a bird's, that's that symbol, so he wants a reptile discovering, so it's going to be this one. Uh, the first, and then he's going to pay two to four bone tokens, as many as possible. He doesn't need to match the depicted skull or limbs, but they need to be skull or limb cards. So he's got a torso, he's got a tail there, and then he's got a skull, he's got a limb. They don't have to be any of this stuff. And... Uh, Oh, he gets paleonto. Oh, yeah, he's got a debunking card as well, so he gets a loyalty from that, and and that gets discarded. So he's discovering this species. So it's a four. So probably not going to get to debunk it, but I could like switch my allegiances. I just probably won't have loyalty with that person. But I'm going to do a team's action in a minute. So these are in my hand. It gains the benefits of publishing just like a normal player. So we know that the benefits of doing four of the same kind are two loyalty, and the bonus on the card is three money. I need to pay one, actually, for doing that card. So he's got two there. And the rounds bonus, which is an upgrade. So that goes away, and he gets the upgrade card. And this goes in his archive in the Helix space, which he has got, so he can have a species card for that. 
but he can't use that for his action just yet. And we need to put a four book out for Cope. So maybe it'll be worth switching to Cope. I don't know. Right. Then he'll keep going if he can. He has got two different types. So and he's got a species card. Can it oh it needs to go in amber though. And we can see he can have one card per slot. He's already got something in amber. So he can't actually uh do any more. He would do as many as he possibly could. But yeah, he's got no more space in those archives. So that might hold him up a little bit. I'm hoping. Yeah. So that's what he's done. He's done his two things. So for me, I want to use this to do a team's action with. So there is a dig site bonus that lets you flip your allegiance. So I could do that and then publish under... Cope's name instead and get some loyalty that way. It would be nice to debunk, but I I need four of the same tile, which is massively far off at the moment. I could just go and get two tiles. But this is all going to put stuff in E, which will be nice. We could just build up for the future. I could get dig site bonuses. Which could be just drawing bone tiles out of bags. I've got two action points, so I don't really know what I need yet. Or we could just go and get ourselves a species card so I do know what I need for the future. I think having the species card is going to be more useful. Yeah, let's come over... Come over here. Or maybe you just want to have two things in E and go and get the loyalty that way. Now, let's just make decisions. We want to show things off. Let's just take these two things. And that's going to be... We'll take these one thing for two action points. And that's going to be my thing. Cope's got another upgraded card and is gonna not cope theodore he's gonna do something with teams so he's got has he got a matching species card leaves no he hasn't so he's gonna get one action point first of all he wants to put a camp down no can he get a bone any depth no it's got to be top depth so no can he get a species card no he's gonna move clockwise that's his free movement can he put a camp down no can he get a bone token yes So that's his turn there. Oh, but he also gets the end round bonus, which is another upgrade. Which I think is like a crazy run of he's got like five upgrades in a row. And uh, then he's gonna... That's it for him, isn't it? So carrying on with what I was gonna do. I need to move off discovering something. We're gonna do a minor find here, and I can put it in any envelope I like. So the minor find's going to be this. So I've got to take the bonus of removing a cover tile. Well, that's uh, okay if we can build up the bone tiles in the future. I can have two money or a point. I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for two money. Then... Oh, that goes in my archive in the amber space, which is a bone tile from my archives. Oh, and I, need, I needed to move this in the archives from that bonus. That goes in there and I get a point. Uh, that gets me a bone token from the bag. And we could move that. Oh, no, I want to put it in. I want to put it in the archive of my choice, don't I? That was the whole point of this. We're putting it in E. So I can have three in the same envelope. So I get two more points now. And I think that's all done. I've had the bonus there, done all of that stuff. Theodore is going to do a paleontologist. Can he claim an award? 
I think he can now. He is going to claim. He's going to get a lot of points in the first scoring, and I don't think I'm going to get much unless I flip. But I don't think flipping is going to help enough. He gets two things there. Maybe we should have concentrated on trying to get four things and swapping that out. Nah. Uh, so he's had his loyalty there, and he gets the end round thing, which is upgrading. That's all of his upgrades in consecutive turns. Then he is going to do a second thing. So a minor find. So a species card that's needed for an award is going to be... He only cares about C now. So he wants the hammer. No, that doesn't matter. A species card that can be placed in the right way slot. No, the first species in alphabetical order, this one. They've both got the same slot, though. Uh, so the Amber, he can only choose this. He gets two things from the Rare Bones tiles. Uh, when he takes from the Rare Bones, he takes the thing that is the least of, I think. But they're all the same. In case of a tie, he claims Skull Any, Limbs Any. Let's give him these skulls. So he gets those skulls, and that goes... Oh, no, that can't... he can't do this, can he? He can't um, do a Minor Find. Because... He's got no room in his archive, so he can't actually do this. So he's he claimed an award. He can't do this. Can he research a species? No, because they can't go in there. He can't claim another award. So actually, uh, he's going to go down to team, doesn't he? So he gets a paleontologist card. Another one for debunking. Then... Can he take a bone from where he is at dig depth two? Yes. He's got two action points. That's one action point. Can he put a camp down? No. Can he get a bone token? No. Can he move anti-clockwise? Yes. Can he get a bone token? No. Can he put a camp down? No. Can he get a bone token? No. Can he go anti-clockwise? Yes. Can he get a bone token? Yes. And there's his two action points. So he got to do the loop twice, and if he can't do the paleontologist, he ends up down there. Well, that's going to be it for his actions. I've not been uh, taking money off him. Right, and I am going to discover a species, aren't I? I don't think... Yeah, I could discover them both. Get him up here, and I'd get a bit of loyalty and try and catch up a bit that way. But no, I'm gonna I'm gonna just carry on. So it's this one that I want to discover. With my wild card paleontologist thing. Oh my I should have moved to minor finds and then I'm moving back here. So I've got four different tiles. And so I get two loyalty, and the bonus on the card is an upgrade. So I am going to upgrade. card here getting me from one action point to four action points for me teams and then the end round bonus is an upgrade would i like a specialist or would i like to upgrade the other team's card specialist can like help you move things around in your archive because it might be a thing to do right once this has got the maximum three in and i've claimed the award moving one out of there and then discovering a new one in there that will get me three points every time is a nice little um chain to get or just getting the round's end bonus. I think I'm going to upgrade me or the team card. So we're completely upgraded. So that would be um, that one. So zero cost, two action points at any depth. And then you go into my archive here. I get three points. So we're on six now, which is decent. So they're one. They're going to get more in this score in a minute. Quite a lot more, I imagine. And then I need to put a four out here. And that's it, isn't it? Yep. He's passing because his action slots are full. So he takes the top thing that he can claim, which is going to be upgrade an action slot. So he is going to give himself a new action slot for next round. And he goes back. The thing that's published the most he wants to come back to this university. So this moves first. I can't choose my extra movement again. He goes to the highest numbered space 
on the university he wants, isn't it? Which is the one that's published the most, which is now his patron. Yep. So when he researches with four different tiles, he can have any rounds bonus. When he can have any rounds bonus, he chooses loyalty. One loyalty is the fourth rounds bonus. So he does that. What else in passing that I'm missing? No, that's pick his team. Price number slot, discard all of his cards. And that's that. He's got one card left in his deck. And then... I'm going to pass because my action slots are now full. So I think... If it was more tiles from the bag, I would go for that. I can't have a species card again. Cover tile kind of nice. We've got a decent amount. Oh, I should have paid three money for the last action. Wondered why I had so much. Probably an upgrade and get one of... Yeah, upgrade. I would like the upgraded action slot. But I think we'll go for the upgrade, the two money, and the paleontologist card. Let's have a paleontologist card. Where's my mouse? Claim an already claimed tile. No, that's not going to help. Debunking, put your allegiance on either one. Claim any minor find symbol. Out of the three, that's the one that would help the most, I think. As things are getting a bit tighter. Yeah, let's say that. So that gets refreshed, because I think I'll get... Um, Another one in the round, I'm hoping. So I've upgraded all my team cards now, so now I can have one of the specialists. You could, you can have them at any point. You don't have to unlock all the team's cards. It's just the way I've done it. So I can have the bonus, which is getting species cards in this uh, next round. Getting more paleontologist cards. I do only have one now. Being able to swap things around in the archive. Be able to sort things around in the archive, I think. Yeah. Okay. So. They get discarded. And the species card gets discarded. And their team cards come back to me. I've got more action points and stuff in general now. And then we need to refresh. So. Their species cards are gone as well. Two, three. Oh, we need to do the scoring. I'll just do this while I'm thinking about it. Does it remind you when you move the round token as well? While I've got our bags in my hand, we'll just do this. Yeah, unfortunately, I've earned zero loyalty. Well, he's earned zero loyalty on this side, but it's not as damaging. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Do those bits. Discard them. Move the round marker, and now the mid-game scoring occurs. Okay, so for Marsh, he's got one bookshelf with stuff on it, because one's been nicked, so that is going to get me two points. He's got zero loyalty, so zero times two, he gets nothing. Over on this side, he gets four times two. There are two bookshelves with things on. He gets eight. I get two times nothing, which could be a mistake. Yeah, so at the moment, it is nine versus eight, though, in points, because I've earned some points from doing all of this. So, you know, one point behind, and hopefully we can pull it back um, with some other stuff here. He's still going first. So he is doing a paleontologist action. Can he claim an award? He's still got nothing in E, so no. Uh, can he debunk? He's not got four things of the same kind, so no. Uh, can he do a minor find? Probably. No, because he can't put stuff in there. So he is going to uh, do teams. So he can move stuff in his archive. He will move something from the lowest to the highest. So he gets a point, and now he could claim... Now he needs two in he to claim the middle of it, so he still can't claim an award. Uh, so that's from this. Then he gets a bone token... Oh, actually, he needs to move first, uh, anti-clockwise. So moving anti-clockwise from where he is goes there. Can he claim a bone token? It's at depth one. So yes, he can claim that one. And then he is done. Now he needs to do it twice. 
So the second time, comes all the way down. Can he take a bone token? No. Because it's only depth one. It needs to go anti-clockwise. Now he can take a bone token from depth one. And he gets that one. I think. Let's group these up so he's got... There his limbs. Actually, he's got, he's got four limbs now. So now he could debunk. Right. Okay. So now I... I want to claim an award. There wasn't really a useful patron to take from that, though. I don't really want to play a species card to do it. I think let's just... Before these all start moving about, let's play a minor find, but it could be any bonus. So it's nice. I'm going to end up, he's going to debunk this. And I'm going to end up getting four loyalty. Oh, I should, I should also get a coin for being low on this loyalty. He's going to debunk this. And then I'm getting four loyalty. With a person who's not published anything. Whereas this keeps like getting higher. So do I need to flip before I claim that award by going over here? I've got plenty of movement to do. Oh, I never brought my people back, did I? Where did I? I think I wanted to stay. I could have chosen to stay with him, though. Because the movement bonus I like a lot more than... I know repeating where your paleontologist is is nice. He came back first, didn't he? So he would have chosen spot four again, the highest number. Could when you draw something out of the bag, you draw two and keep one. But it would flip my allegiance. I just can't really catch up, can I, to do that? Not stick. Stick with uh, our current patron. See about some way of just getting a load of bones. Yeah, let's um, let's get something first. Can we get four of the same thing? Not from the top. Let's go for one money for three action points, and they can come from the top or middle. And I've got three movement to do that with. So one movement, one action point. Two movements, two action points. Three movement, third action point. So I've got three tails there. In a future action, I can go there and get the fourth. And I could debunk. If he's going to debunk, I can reverse that and undebunk it. So he's going to flip this over on his turn. But he hasn't got a deck that we can see the top card of. It's an unupgraded card, unusually. Hey, Rach. How's it going? So he is going to do a paleontologist action with that. Oh, we, we know he can debunk now, can't we? Uh, he... Yeah, because he can't actually do the things because his envelopes are full. So he can debunk... He's got four limbs that all count as the same thing for him. So he can go over there. Get four loyalty. And that flips over. And that comes there. I haven't got the cards to claim and debunk, have I? Maybe rather than moving around, I should have taken the paleontologist thing. 
So I need more people to do stuff. Right, so let's get more stuff. Four action points on teams. And let's get a paleontologist card. See if we can turn this round. Money's going to be an issue. Be all right. We could get our money here. So I want... I want bonuses that aren't actually helpful. I love my movements. I want... I want this tail. So now I've got four tails. So it's only at the top depth. I've got three more action points. I think we're going to do this. Oh no, that's just that doesn't get me any more species cards. That just lets me discard my current one, which isn't particularly helpful. It's going to get me money though. No, it is going to be helpful. Do a minor find with it. Yeah. So I get a paleontologist card. Which which card do I want? So I've got that specialist debunking split the loyalty. Let's grab that. Then. I've still got three action points down here. We could be getting some more bone tokens. They have to all come off the top, I suppose, is the downside. So we could get a limb. Yeah, let's move up. And just get that to help us maybe in the future. I think. So we've got two more things. I could just grab the species card. I discover birds. Birds doesn't come out as well, is it? I could discard the species card, but no, I'm fine with that. I'm going to get a money and a bone from the bag because my camps are both on there, so I'm allowed to do that. Let's have the bone first because maybe I'll have two bones. Because if I could get myself the... Well, actually... Not even the herbivore skull. If I can get myself the herbivore skull or a torso or a tail, then I could discover that species at some point. So there's the herbivore skull. It's just that I'm going to need six money to keep playing. No, that's going to be okay. Get another tile. And hoping that it's a torso or a tail. It's a tail. So, that's helpful, I think. Theodore is doing teams. So, has he got a species card that matches the amber? Yes. He discards one. But, which one does he discard? Uh, he's got two. Let's do first one alphabetically. Uh, he gets rid of this. Actually, what does di what does um, differentiate it? If he has the species card, he gains that species card's bonus and discards the card. Well, normally, it's things that are useful for A, B, C. Neither of them go into a different slot. And then it's the first one in alphabetical order is usually his choice. So, two bone tokens. Oh, what's not needed for achievements? Neither of them. So, it's just alphabetical. The only thing that's needed for achievements at the moment is... Um, does he still consider achievements he's already gained? He would keep that one around in that case. So it's the same either way. No, he just, cons yeah, he just wants to put stuff in E. So he gets two things from the bag. So he's getting a couple of bones to help him out there. 
We've got two torsos. Two skulls. It's going to get debunking again. Right. I want to do a minor find, don't I, with this Stegosaurus. Where's my other paleontologist card? Oh, yeah, this. Do we want to do that before the debunking? Why not? Thanks, Rach. Minor find, and I can pretend it's any symbol I like. I am going to... I'm going to upgrade an action slot. Let's say it's the hammer. So I can upgrade an action slot. Rather than adding a new card on there, which I would like as well, I'm going to make this one cost one instead of three. And this goes into my amber slot, which gives me a species card, which is going to be uh, Trudon. Hmm, not got the things for that. Oh, yeah, I've got rid of the card that I'm building up bones for. Never mind. We could swap them with other actions and stuff. Because I want to debunk next, don't I? I'm not going to have the paleontologist card to research another one. Okay, then Theo is going to do teams again. Has he got a species card that matches this? No. So he's got five action points at any depth. Can he get a bow? Well, no, he hasn't moved yet. So let's go to movement. He moves clockwise. Can he get a bone at any depth? Yes. One, two action points. And then... Oh no, he just gets one. And then we cycle around. One. Can he put a camp down? No. Can he get a bone? Yes. And then he moves clockwise. It's two action points. Can he get a bone? Yes. Can he get a camp? No. Can he get a bone? Yes. Can he move clockwise? Yes. But he's going to have to spend an action point to do it because he's only got one movement. Yep. Okay. That's his five. So he could put a camp down if it's like the first decision next time he does teams. If it's the first thing to do, he might finally get one down because it's kind of stopping him moving and putting cards down in his envelopes. But he's still getting on all right without that, isn't he? Right, let's... And you can debunk as many times as you can afford to as well, or you like. It'd be nice to have, you know, eight of the same thing and then debunk. But I've got two more action points at any depth. I could be swapping with rare ones. But that would only give me three of the same kind, unfortunately. So I think we're just going to debunk once. Two money to do that. Come over here and spend my four of a kind. Flipping that over. But I can split the loyalty. I'm not going to do it massively. I'm just going to go one on here just so I've got something. Two, three, four. I think. Right. Theodore is... Gets his meeple back and is doing some professions. Can he claim an award? He's only got one thing in E, so still no. Can he research a new dinosaur? He's not got the space for it. Can he debunk? Has he got four of a kind? He has. So actually kind of makes it like a useless loop of him. Just He's just going to debunk forever, isn't he? At this point. So, he is going to go on debunking, and he's got four of a kind, and so he's just going to flip that back and get four loyalty, I think. He can't do another one, because not another one's been published. So then... He does another thing, which would snake down to teams. He gets the end round bonus, which is going to be a species card. And... So can he get a species card for... He's got two action points, so yes. And he can put a camp down, and I think he prioritises movement first, right? Yeah, movement, archive limit, movement, archive limit. So he's got a camp out now. Okay, I've got only a teamed action left that I can do, so it's going to cost me one. I've got two points that I can have at any depth. 
let's see, with the people that I've got, the bonuses that I've got, I'm not like massively fussed about. I think I would just like this species card. I could get me two things from the bag next time. Maybe I'm just going to have to debunk back. Uh, he gets an extra action, though, because he's had the extra slot. And he is going for another paleontologist action. Comes back. Uh, he can't claim an award. He can't... Oh, can he research anything? Yes, he can research one of these now. Uh, neither of them matters for the thing, so just alphabetical. This one. So as many different things as possible. He can do three different things. Goes in there and he's going to get two coins. So he should have spent one, two, three, four, four. He had no money. He had just enough money to do that. But now he's uh, earned a couple back again. So he's done three different things, which means that's going to be a loyalty, which gets him a point. And the bonus on the card is an upgrade, but he's done all of his upgrades. I don't think he gets anything. He shouldn't, because he's had enough, I think. Uh, then that goes in his archive, which I've done. We put a three out there, which would be easier to debunk. And, but yeah, the rest are fours. So then he needs to do a second thing. Can he do a minor find? I'm sure he can. So what the what's the species that he chooses? It's needed for an award. Well, no, that's a species card that's needed for an award. The ease is things with hammer. No, he hasn't got any of those. Placed in the rightmost slot. No, the first one in alphabetical order. This one. Oh, but he can't put that in his slots, and he can't put that in his slots. So he actually can't do a minor find either. So we're going to snake down. Can he put a camp down where he is? No. Can he get a bone at depth two? Yes. So that's all of his stuff there. We, let's see, I've only got one paleontologist card and I can only get one paleontologist card. So I could upgrade another slot. I've got no money as well. I could upgrade another slot to make that a bit cheaper. Or I think we come down and be second still and get three money and two paleontologist cards. And the paleontologist cards are going to be If you find a species with three or more tiles, you get an extra loyalty. I like the look of that. And what about you could claim an award that's already been claimed? Mm, it's probably not going to matter as much. You could have the same thing again, but I'm probably not going to do that. What about, what's that minor find one? So you have George. You can minor find... You can choose a space where the minor fine tile has already been taken and take the bonus. Well, that might help. Yeah, let's take that as well. So I get two of those things. I've had my money. And the team's going back. Uh, there's four rounds in the game, Monica. So there's one more, and then we'll have another scoring of these books. She's looking a bit dicey. Uh, yeah, but I, I, I can't get six tiles. In an action. Right. So I could flip loyalty and start working on here. But I can't debunk to get that loyalty. I can only put new books out, which at this point would help him more. I could take like any rounds bonus here instead of the current rounds bonus. And so like when I publish with four bone tokens, publish a new paper, I could get three bone tokens to try and do more stuff. No, I'm sticking with him. I don't care. I'm loyal. Right. So I'm going there. And then he gets 
he has to choose something different. He had that last time. So he get of this moves as well. I think that didn't move last time. It should be there now. So I'll choose that. I'm fine with having the extra movement. So he gets an upgrade card, which he can't have. He gets two money. So he needs to earn money if he wants to play all of those cards. And a paleontologist card. And then he chooses the highest space on there. And let's see, they're going away. They come back to me. They go away. And... Species cards go away. New ones come out. Are we going to see a bird? I do have a bird, I think. No, I don't. There's a bird. It's a good, like... You'd need two birds to claim the full loyalty one, though. Wait a minute. Did I not claim the award? I claimed that award, didn't I? Did I not claim it? I wasn't have been there. I got four from debunking, didn't I? Right, so we can still do that. So that was just that. And then they slide up. Put you in there. You in there. You in there. You in there. And then them and the final round the round bonus is just loyalty so he is going for teams he gets a paleontologist card and he's got has he got a matching species card the foot yes so he gives that up to move things around in his archive he moves that there and gets a new species card so that's his, the, the bonus and so gets one action point at one depth. Can he take a bone from where it well, hasn't moved yet? So let's go to moving, which is anti-clockwise. There, can he take a bone? Yes, that one. That's him. Right. So... Let's see. We could potentially do some species cards here. I need money. I've only got three money for this whole thing. I only need one more money to be able to play all of my cards. Let's Oh, but if I'm going to play teams cards, they cost money as well. Yeah, I'm going to need some money. Let's get four points and spend two of that money. So that's only on the top depth. No, give me that money back. Let's have three points at the top two depths. Let's go here, take these. And
I'll take one from the back. And I want a paleontologist card. That's why I wanted to do teams first. It's a different hand, but it is one that I need for that species. I want the paleontologist card that lets me claim an award and split the loyalty. Then Theodore is doing teams. He... The species card is the Helix. No, he hasn't got that. So two action points at up to two depth. Can he have a bone? Yes. Can he put a camp down? No. Can he have a bone? No. He goes anti-clockwise. Can he have a bone? No. Can he put a camp down? No. Can he have a bone? No. So he goes anti-clockwise. Can he have a bone? Yes. Is that two? Or did he only just do one thing then? I think he did too. Right. I want to claim an award. I want to claim this award for having three things in my ease. He had two bones, thanks. And I can split it. So I could just go four up here. So I should have had an extra money for my patron, shouldn't I, actually? One, two, th I kind of want to just put it all on here. I'm going to put it all on here. I don't know why I wanted that split card. Well, I want these for other things, maybe, if we get a chance to do them. Yeah, we're just going to claim that. Uh, oh, I've claimed the thingy award. Theo. Teams. Has he got an amber card? Yes. So do the first one alphabetically because none of them can go in the e archive uh, so he claims this to move stuff in his archives which he can't actually do so i suppose he would choose the one that he could do something with he needs to pay him money but he's going to earn three money so i'll give him just uh, two more so he's got the money to play all of his cards this turn though then he is going to have two points and he can dig up to two so can he get a bone yes I have to watch when I debunk because he can just debunk back. He's got four of a kind again. So he's had a bone. He can't have another bone. Can he have a species card? Yes. So that's his second point. I want to claim a species. Like I need to do teams, minor find and debunking. But he can just debunk them back. But there's not really much I can do about it. Because he can debunk as many times as he likes and he gets more bones than me. So, yeah, let's just try it this way. So teams first. Let's pay two money for four action points. That only comes from top depth, though. Do you want that? If you only had the two... It would only cost you one money. It's not enough things, though. Oh, but you need to earn the money first. I think you need to do the minor find first. So the minor find costs one. I wanted to do that for the first action so I could get the two things.
Yeah, do a minor find with that. So it's the hammer, so it's going to get me two by going in the archive. And let's have three dig site bonuses. Next, we've got the swap. Let's have one from the bag. It's a torso, that's the name. And then Give me four. A money. Yeah, one money and one swap. Let's swap this for the other. For the poor. Maybe I'll get to do two bunks. Two debunks. I don't really know. We'll see. Theo is doing teams again. Loves them teams. And has he got a species card? The leaf? Nope. He's going to get three action points at depth one. He gets to move stuff in the archive, but he can't until he puts a camp out. Can he get bones? Uh, only only top depth. Can he get bones? No. Can he get bones? No. Can he get a species card? No. He goes anti-clockwise. Can he get bones? Yes. Can he get bones? No. Can he get a species card? There's two action points. He moves anti-clockwise. Can he get bones? Yes. So that's his turn there. Then for me, I want to spend two. Why did I need all that money then? I don't think I did need the money. What, what would you have had instead though? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm doing the free one, so I've only got two action points, but I've got depth anything, and I basically want this skull come over here in this foot, and we're just going to have to toss something. So I've got three of a kind and four of a kind for some um, debunks, but they might just get uh, debunked right back. Yeah, they are on the cards. It's amazing. And there is, like, you could... you could The rule book's probably on the game fan page, right? You can uh, check out all the examples of the... You know, the Stegosaurus and stuff, and we mentioned it's this species, right? That um, they thought the tail was the neck and vice versa. So it's it, like the, the art is the way they thought the dinosaurs looked at the time. Right. I'm just doing a, a research card rather than a debunk card. Theo is Teams. He is... Well, he did loads of paleontology last time, didn't he? So he might still... He's got one more action. He could still do stuff. So he needed to pay two. He needed to pay one. He's doing teams. Has he got a hammer card? Yes. He's going to get an upgrade. We can't have an upgrade, so I don't know if he'll get rid of the card. He is going to go... He's got six action points. But it's all going to be used getting bones or species cards. Right. So here... Can he have a bone? Yes. Can he have a bone? Only if it would give him a different type and he's got a tail, so no. Can he have a species card? Yes. So that's two things. Oh, he should have probably had one fewer bone because he had to move. Oh, he can move twice then. Uh, he moves anti-clockwise. That's free. Can he have a bone? Only if it would give him a different type. He's got a jaw. And a tail. Can he get the species card? Yes, that's three. He moves. Can he get a bone? Not at all. So we get to get a species card. That's four things. Now moving costs a thing. So that's five. And we go back around to species card. Got lots of species cards. And that's six. Then for me, I'm going to debunk. And 
I have to really, it's still not going to win me enough points, but I have to kind of hope that he doesn't just debunk right back. There's nothing I can really do about it. So, let's see. I'm going to be debunking one of the fours. And they, the books fall down to fill any of the gaps. So that's four loyalty. It's still not going to be... I think I'm just I'm just behind in points anyway, aren't I? And... Yeah, it's only going to get me to the top. A bit close, though. Uh, and then the three. Because we'll get the same... If it stayed like this, we will get the same... Like... Um, points, won't we? Both at seven. There's the same number of shelves, but that's my last action. So I think, what what are we on in points? Was I one? I was one behind, wasn't I? And then I think he's probably earned a point. It's nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, I think he's going to be three points ahead if he doesn't um, mess this up. So he is all on the shuffle of these cards. And we can't see the other side of this. Tell me when to stop. As soon as I see the stop in the comments, unless it all freezes and then I'm just shuffling for the rest of time, that would be terrible. I'm just going to decide to stop in a minute then. One more go. Paleontologist is probably going to be debunking. Oh, debunking's not on there. Okay. So, they're doing two things though. First of all, can they claim an award? Nope, they never got more things in E. Can they do a minor fine? Surely. Which one, though? Uh, they're gonna Have they got something with a foot? That's the only one they could do a minor find with. Surely. One of them. Yes. There we go. So that'd go in there and get them two coins. I don't think anything that was actually going to benefit them. The foot gets them an upgraded tile, so they would upgrade here. And then the second go through. Can they claim an award? No. Can they do a minor find? No. They can only have one thing in each slot and it's all full up. Can they research a new species? No, because all their slots are full. They've got no archive space. So we come down, they get a paleontologist card and can they get a bone? No. Can they put a camp down? No. Can they get a bone? No. Can they go anti-clockwise? Yes. Can they get a bone? Uh, this top two depth. No. Can they put a camp down? Yes! Now you could put two things in your archives, but unfortunately it's in your very last action. Uh, so that's one of the action points. Can I claim a bone? No. As clockwise, they can claim this bone. They can't actually put any more camps out now, because all the spots are full for a two-player game. Uh, I don't think they would take this, but I don't think they'd take any of the bones at this point that are left. There's no species cards, there's no stuff around here. So that's their last action. And then there's no cleanup to do, because this is the... This is the end, and I think, yeah, just just from the points of going just up, you know, too far on the loyalty track. Oh, no, I'm only going to get two. I think I'm going to be behind one, actually. Let's let's have a look. Let's uh, not predict it. So, from the scoring, they do not have a paleo card for minor actions. Oh, for a minor find. Uh, oh yeah, he has. So he'd get a point from that. So for Marsh, I'm going to get seven times two because there are two shelves on there, but he's also going to get that from uh, his side as well. So I'm going to get 14 there. And he gets zero times two because he's still not got any loyalty over here. On this side, he is going to get the 14. Run out of fives. It's a prototype. There's going to be more. So he gets 40 in there. But I am on here. If I had actually could have got a little bit more to push me up, might have evened it up. But I'm going to get two here. So my final score is going to be 24. I don't think Theo's that far ahead. I think he's going to be like three ahead, something like that. Oh, I'm moving off. 10, 15, 18, 20, 26. What was mine? 
24. So two, that's not too bad, is it? Really? He was very upgraded and uh, was quite nasty. I think he... Uh, did he find one species on his turn? He was uh, a big debunker in this game, wasn't he? But, like, he was held back a little bit by not being able to get his camps out. But yeah, just needed to... Like, maybe a different paleontologist card that could have let you... I don't know, like, jumping over to their side can be a thing as well. Like, it could have just been that I wanted to jump over and try and piggyback off of this. Like, if I could have got to seven as well, I was still like times two or something on here. So that could have done it as well. And just racing up to seven and getting the points like he did could be a way as well. But anyway, this is just an example. There's a, there's a million and one things happening when you're streaming and stuff. Uh, but hopefully it's given you an idea of what the game is like, uh, as well as the solo mode. Everything I'm doing is what you do in a multiplayer game. You're just against uh, other players. And if you're playing at higher player counts, this stuff isn't blocked off. There's more books to fill uh, each of the shelves, depending on your player count, more space for camps, more all of this stuff. This is on GameFound right now. It launched when this stream launched uh, and uh, the link is in the description so you can see all of the final stuff this is a prototype of the game but you can see all the final stuff how to make it happen how to get hold of a copy what all of that final stuff uh, will have but yeah i hope you enjoyed it and it's intrigued you about the game either way and uh, yeah the link for it is down there you can check out more on my channel if you like there's loads it's great here uh, thank you everyone for joining me thank you wim the designer uh, for keeping me on track and uh, for designing the game uh, yeah you can uh, pop any questions you've got over on the game found and uh, i'm sure they'll get speedily answered and uh, you can ask me but i might not know uh, you but i'm sure people will check in thank you so much everyone for being here it's time for me to go and have my tea now uh, so i'm gonna do that because uh, it's hungry digging through all of these bones thank you so much and i will be live later in the week uh, with uh, some pre essen releases of some kind or another uh, you find out what i post about them won't you thank you so much everyone and i'll see you soon bye 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 bye